All right. Uh, I just want—I didn't see any videos of this online, uh, but uh, one thing that has happened with the Nintendo Switch is that uh, they've been releasing a lot of games, and trying to buy every single one of them is not financially possible for a lot of people. So I decided to set up a GameFly account so that I could rent them instead. And if I, you know, decided I want to keep the game, they have an option to keep at a bit of a discount. So, with tax, normally, this is Skyrim, with tax, normally you would have to pay about around 70 bucks. So I paid a little, like, 50-something instead. But I got it from GameFly, they sent it to me. And then when you decide to keep the, the, uh, the game, they send you all the rest of the... Uh, packaging because this was basically a launch title nobody else basically rented it so it's fairly new it's but it is open so yeah but they do open it to send you the game now I lost my scissors so I'm hoping this little guitar scissor uh, guitar thing works there you go I didn't have to cut it <laughs> it worked though just make sure I'm in frame. And here is the the game. And I believe I have this receipt, so I'm going to take that away off camera. And here is the um, the casing. This is just, you know, it's the usual case that when you unbox it, you get that. Except it's opened, because they opened it for that. Um, nothing much. Nothing special. If you have a code or something, like say you got Resident Evil, you rented Resident Evil uh, Revelations, it has a code inside the uh, the case or whatever um, with the, the Resident Evil Revelations to download, then that would be included with the case. But in this case, it's just that's all you get. Um, So that's it. Just wanted to show what it would look like, what the quality would be, and that's all. So it seems fine. And you save a few bucks doing that. Uh, just so long as you're actually renting games, <laughs> it would be not. It wouldn't. You wouldn't save a hell of a lot if you weren't actually using the subscription or anything like that, because then you would be paying a monthly fee and renting nothing and then like renting one game or renting one game and then paying for it because then and that would actually cost more probably but if you're actually using the account it's kind of worth it uh if, if i find that it's not worth it just cancel it um i uh what was i gonna say so i had uh used this service before and it really didn't make any sense. It was around the time of the Xbox 360 and PS3. I had both. And I really wasn't looking forward to much of the games. I was playing all the older games. And it didn't make any sense. So I canceled. Because it just didn't make any sense to have the thing. But now, it's because the Switch has had so many games come out that I can't afford all of them. I figured it would be a... a a useful service to use so oh one other thing um, I got or rented another game that I rented um, to try I wanted to play but I didn't want to pay the money uh, to try it out but yeah you, you never know maybe I'll like it so much I'll buy it but um, so here's a Game. And a lot of people have said that, that Gamefly takes forever to ship. I guess it depends on where you are, but in my case it's been very, fairly quickly. They've been shipping them fairly quickly. And um, here's the, the game that I've rented for the Switch. And blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now we'll do this and we'll show the Switch game there. So, arms. Let's get that to focus. So, I rented arms because it looked cool. It looked like it was fun, so I get, figured I'd give that a shot. 
and then if I do like it, I'll get it. If I'm like, eh, it's okay, I'll wait on it. Maybe it'll get, you know, it won't be so expensive. Um, and I will buy it then. Who knows? We'll see what I think of the game. It looks fun to me, but, you know, figured I'd rent it. So I'm going to post some gameplay of that. Um, check out the updates and everything. So, yay, woohoo, whatever. Thank you for watching.